Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see why is it that this person let go of you, okay? Why is it that they walked away from you, emotionally distanced themselves? Um, why is it that they've pulled away or perhaps ghosted you? We'll see the reason behind it here. Um, it is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and begin and see, you know, why is it that this person walked away from you? And is this temporary or is this... Um, is it temporary or is it just, you know, is this them walking away for good mm. bit of a heavy energy here right Okay, so bottom of the deck, you have the two of wands. So it's hard because I feel like some of you are still holding on to, even though this person may have walked away, I feel like some of you are still holding on to perhaps the illusion of what could have been or the illusion of what the two of you could have had. Because I feel like a lot of you did have plans or visions. You've had the intentions to move forward with this person in a very big way. Like maybe this is someone whom you saw settling down with and spending the rest of your life with. Maybe you really saw yourself building a future with this person, um, you know, creating a family here, creating a home, buying a house, turning it into a happy home. I feel like there was just a lot of, you, you saw, not only did you see this person, you know, playing a role short term, but you saw the you saw them staying long term. Maybe you felt that they gave you a sense of stability no one else had here. And I feel like with this person walking away, it's really hard because them walking away from you meant that they took all of that with them on their way out here. And for you, I feel like you guys are still energetically connected and you're holding on to the illusion of what could have been, the illusion of what the two of you could have had, but unfortunately never truly manifested itself. I feel like you guys are still energetically connected in the sense that I feel like you guys have both been thinking about each other a lot, okay? You might not necessarily have been communicating with one another given the page of swords here, but I feel like there's just, you both can't seem to get each other off your mind. I feel like you're both, you know, there's this mental thread that connects the two of you together. You're thinking about them, they're thinking about you. There's a lack of communication, but I feel like your energy here you know, your energies are still in touch or they're still speaking to one another. There is an indication of a possible reconciliation, a reconnection in the future here. Okay, and I feel like it might happen a lot sooner given that the one's energy is a very fast moving energy. So I know time is probably, especially if you are in a separation, a disconnection or a breakup, I know time is probably stretching on to what feels like an infinity, but I do feel like in the near future there is some incoming communication coming in from this individual. There's some contact you will hear back from them. They will respond to you, especially if you've sent them like a text message and they haven't responded as yet. I do feel like you'll hear from them very shortly. I do feel like it's very likely the two of you will see each other as well face to face in person in the future. And it feels like there may be a possible uh, reconciliation here, a possible homecoming, a reunion. I'm also picking up air travel um, or like a movement kind of energy. So for those of you that are doing long distance here or have done long distance with this person here, then it's likely they might be traveling in to see you in the future. Or you might be traveling to see them here. Or I just feel like this person might be moving towards you in the future here. Now, a lot of you have invested... Um, a lot of yourselves into this connection okay and a lot of your time your energy you know your mental your physical your, your spiritual energy a lot of your resources as well here and you just felt like maybe they didn't give the same in return okay maybe you just felt like you've done so much for this person here 
so much and you always wanted to keep them happy but you didn't necessarily get the same back from them here because i feel like you know the seven of pentacles is a very frustrated kind of energy it's about doing a lot of work but not necessarily seeing the results you show up now the devil card a very strong sense of you know it's a very addictive kind of quality isn't it with the devil card here the two of you have i feel like you were both quite addicted to one another, both very intoxicated by this connection, consumed by one another even here. Okay, there was something very unhealthy about this relationship and I feel like the longer you stay in this type of a relationship, you know, the deeper the rabbit hole goes here because the longer that Adam and Eve stay in this situation, notice how the more and more they start to resemble the devil itself with them sprouting horns and I feel like something about this connection feels as though it was holding you back or it was holding the both of you back and I feel like this is why your person had to walk away but there because there was shadow aspects of themselves that was either holding them back from being the best version that they could be for you and for this relationship or holding the both of you back so it could have been the effects of negative habits um, dependencies, alcohol, drugs, abuse, um, substance abuse, um, negative behavior, emotional or thought patterns. Um, I did mention addictions here and it just feels like there was a lot of pain and this pain was definitely you know a long term. I feel like it was affecting you in the long run. Yeah this relationship was giving you short-term pleasure but in the long term it was giving you a lot of pain here the love just as the devil sorry just as the lovers card represents choices so does the devil here and i guess it speaks to us of duality here and some of you you know maybe you felt as though this person chose didn't choose you in the end there may have been a third party situation as well and they may have chosen the third party over you here um some of you felt feel as though maybe this person has sold their soul to the devil as well here Someone here is tricked into thinking that they have no control over the shadow aspect of themselves or the shadow aspects or the negative forces of this relationship here. Um, deep down, I feel like, deep down, you know, you've come up as the Nine of Swords and the Six of Swords. And look, maybe you're the one who has turned their back away from this person. Not because you wanted to, okay? Not because that was a choice you freely and easily made but because they pushed you to do that they pushed you to the brink of exhaustion to the brink of pain to the brink of where i feel like you just couldn't handle it anymore okay and they drove you to to do that because deep down inside you knew that you know staying with them meant it was going to be detrimental to your health your emotional your physical your spiritual health here because as much as you love them here you also had to prioritize your own health and your own sanity here and you, and you knew that staying in this toxic relationship or staying in a third party situation here, um, it, it just was very, you know, you were doing a disservice to yourself here. Maybe this, when this person will free themselves from addictions or um, some dependencies that they have, they might come back here. But I just feels like someone needs to free themselves up from some sort of influence here. It is possible, okay? But it's up to them or it's up to you to make this happen is the message that i get here some of you i feel like you need to learn this person here you know has come into your life to teach you a lot of lessons and i feel like right now it just feels like you need to something that they've taught you is you need to learn to protect your energy and to protect your personal boundaries here okay um i also feel like Maybe this person here has come into your life to also help you release some personal baggage that you have here. I just feel like it, the Nine of Swords is a very heavy energy and some of you, are, you keep going over something that they said or they've done or the life that you could have had. But I feel like you know if you hold on to this illusion of what could have been or what should have been, you'll never be able to break free of the you know of the constraints of your thoughts here so if it could have been it would have been 
and it's this very illusion of you know what if this happened or what if that happened that's holding you captive it's that very illusion that's holding you prisoned here I feel like the reason why this person walked away or you chose to walk away from it is because there was a sense of turbulency that you left behind okay you were essentially you know walk you've walked away from a toxic situation or you you, you know, in walking away, you send them a message that you weren't going to tolerate any toxicity or any disrespect or any more pain here because there was a lot of pain in this connection. There was a lot of hurt here. It was, you know, swords are a weapon. They are destructive here. And yes, you love them, but loving them, you can still love them and, you know, send them a message that you're not going to tolerate this, right? And some of you, I feel like walking away might just be the best decision you've ever made because sometimes it takes, you know, someone's absence to truly appreciate their presence here. So right now, I feel like you are both occupying each other's mental space and this is giving them some time to really think things through. They need to break free of some dependencies that I see in their energy and they need to get a better perspective on things right now i do feel like you've you're rowing the boat here away from turbulent troubled seas you're going towards smooth calm sailing seas that's where you're heading so this tells me that decision that decision to walk away here is a good thing because ultimately it's putting you on a much better heart path on a much healthier path and even if this person took an exit from your life you don't chase them okay Maybe it means that you guys need to have some time apart from each other so you can both work on creating healthy versions of yourself here. Or maybe, just maybe, this person isn't meant for you. Okay, maybe this person, you know, has come along in your life to teach you some lessons, but ultimately they can't stay. Because staying in your life would be detrimental to your health here. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.